Hello, and welcome back to the Longy Ledger, and a special welcome to my new subscribers. I'm so glad to have you all here. For those of you who are new, my name is Amy Mantis, and I'm a first-year master's student in the Jazz and Contemporary Music JCM department at the Longy School of Music. The Longy Ledger is about my experiences at school and beyond, and some other voices will be joining us soon. My first full week of classes was a blast, and I'm excited to share what happened and what's happening next. Issue number two, Roundup. An overview of a few of my classes now that I've had all of them. New, live at Longy. Longy has over 200 concerts every year. They are free and open to the public, though donations are encouraged and welcome. The next few on tap include two faculty and two ensembles and residence performances. Class highlight of the week. Lydian chromatic concepts. This one surprised me because I thought for sure Opera Creation Lab would be my highlight. New teacher spotlight, Ben Schwendener, my Lydian chromatic concepts professor. A very eclectic, energetic, and encouraging individual. Also new, composition corner. This will be updated weekly as I compose more pieces slash songs slash whatnot for my classes and in general. Closing thoughts, what's to come, etc. Week two recap. My first full week of classes was a joy, which isn't surprising. In Opera Creation Lab, the singers each performed two pieces and they did a fantastic job. Having never been around opera singers before, I am in awe of what they can do. My private lessons with Eric are demanding in the best way. Unlike when I studied with him last year, this year, I have real deadlines. I had soft deadlines as a private student, but as a laundry student, I have proper expectations. One of the best parts of being a professional is having consequences for not doing your work. I know that sounds odd, but I think most people work better with a bit of gentle pressure. I'm pretty good at keeping to personal deadlines, but I feel like I'm at least 10 times better about it when there's something even something as arbitrary as a grade, on the line. My ensemble had its first meeting, which was loads of fun. I get to arrange Landslide by Fleetwood Mac for two vocalists, a baritone saxophone, two guitars, bass, and drums. I've never really arranged in this manner before, so it'll be an experiment and an experience, and one that I will share. And if you're in Cambridge in November, you can swing by our end-of-semester performance. Now that everything is tidied up and we're through with the department meeting portion of the JCM seminar, I have experienced what the seminar will actually entail each week, and it's cool. It's interactive. Each student presents a topic of their choosing once a year. First up was second-year saxophonist Ben Canfield. He's working on a class about improvisation, with the focus being on rhythm before anything else. I don't think I will get to present anything this year, as my first-year recital is also my final for the semester, but I'm going to inquire because I have lots of ideas I want to try out. I'll keep you posted. Live at Longy. Each week I'll share a list of upcoming Live at Longy. Each week I'll share a list of upcoming performances happening at Longy. All performances are free. Donations are welcome and encouraged and open to the public. The school asks that you register beforehand if you plan on going. Links provided. Every concert season it follows the academic calendar, more or less. There's a new theme at Longy. Last year's theme was, it's personal. This year's theme is, and so the story goes. Make of that what you will. That's kind of the point. The idea is that concerts and master classes and workshops held at the school fall within each season's theme. Here's what's on tap. Tuesday, September 24th. Jazz and Contemporary Music, JCM Faculty Concert. Time, 7 p.m. Where? Pickman Hall. Click on the link for details. I'll skip over the descriptions of each of the concerts. You can read those. Thursday, September 26. Radius Ensemble. Emerge. Ensemble in Residence. Time, 8 p.m. Where? Pickman Hall. Saturday. September 28th, Palavar Strings, Dancing Home, Ensemble and Residence, Time, 7 p.m., Where, Pickman Hall, 
a note for me. One of the workshops during TAI was with two of the members of Palavar Strings, and it was fantastic. Friday, October 4th, Kaylin Marcel Manson, Black Reflections, Faculty Debut Recital. Time, 7 p.m. Where? Pickman Hall. A note from me. Another one of the workshops during TAI was with Kaylin, and he is one of the most engaging and dynamic people I have ever met. Class highlight of the week, Lydian chromatic concepts. I expected my highlight to be from Opera Creation Lab because of the performances by my classmates. The Lydian chromatic concepts, LCC, takes the cake this week. Not only did I understand the concept a bit better, but we also shared our first compositions, and members of the class, along with our teacher, Ben, performed them. I can also now explain LCC a little bit. LCC is not a replacement for traditional Western harmony. If you look at the major scale as the what, then we can view the LCM, Lydian Chromatic Method, as the why. For the musos out there, if you don't know what a muso is, you aren't one, basically a musician who's very into theory and technique, it's not about having a sharp four on the scale or all over the melody or having your chords all have a sharp 11. No. With the major scale and in Western harmony, we want to resolve to the tonic slash the root. If we're playing in C major, we typically want our chord progressions to resolve back to the tonic, the C, be it the chord or the melody. The following is from Ben Schwendener's book that covers the LCC in great detail. Therefore, the tonic of a ladder of six fifths, the Lydian scale, is also the lowest, the lower most tone termed the Lydian tonic. Tonal gravity is the term that George Russell gave to the natural phenomenon of tones having a self-organized order in relation to a single central tone. The Lydian tonic is termed the center of tonal gravity of the Lydian scale because all tones yield to it as their vertical, unified tonal center, no matter how the scale is arranged. When we're applying the LCC, there is no tonic note to resolve back to. The Lydian scale is the tonic. I know I'm not explaining this as well as I would like to, but I will keep at it over the next few months. The best way to learn something is to teach it, so I hope you bear with me as I stumble through teaching this. Composition Corner. Each week, I'll discuss what I'm working on and or what I just finished working on in my classes with composition assignments. I'll update the playlist accordingly. Here's why LCC was my class highlight. We played each other's compositions. Our assignment last week was to write a piece using F Lydian and its six flat line Lydian scales with vertical melody, resolving back to F Lydian after each new chord. What that means is start on F, then go to B flat, then back to F, then E flat, then back to F, then A flat, back to F, D flat, back to F, G flat, back to F, and B, because we do not call it C flat, back to F. In vertical melody simply means make sure you can identify the chord slash Lydian scale you're playing in support of your melody. The idea is if you take the harmonic support away, you could still tell what chord slash Lydian scale would be played to accompany the melody. When it was time to share our compositions in class, Ben asked, who wants to go first? No one seemed terribly eager to share, so I volunteered to go first. And I was rewarded, not with anything special, but then again, musicians playing something I wrote is always special in and of itself. I was rewarded with a beautiful rendition of a composition I created while barely knowing what I was doing. A quick backstory on inspiration. Until last Friday, September 13th, I had never seen Vertigo. I now understand why so many musicians have been inspired by Alfred Hitchcock's films over the years. They're beyond captivating. Like many before me, I too was captivated by Vertigo. So much so that my piece is inspired by Jimmy Stewart's character. Here's my composition titled Descent. We were encouraged to keep it simple and thematic, so I did. 
I wish I had recorded Ben, piano slash teacher, Kyle, drums, and Yoon, guitar, playing it in class because it turned into a sweeping 24-bar movie soundtrack. Alas, earwax. I didn't think to do so until it was too late. So instead, you're stuck with the original demo of me playing it poorly on the piano. My personal favorite Hitchcock-inspired musical endeavors are Duran Duran's 1986 album, Notorious, and what might be Lady Gaga's best song, Bad Romance. Notorious is a triumphant disco pop rock funk masterpiece of cleverness and musicality. There are very clear Hitchcock references, including a song called Vertigo. And in Bad Romance, Lady Gaga gets three for the price of one in this magnificent couplet. I want your psycho, your vertigo shtick. Want you in my rear window, baby, it's sick. Both are well worth your time, and Lady Gaga's video is unreal. Anyway, this week we have to write a piece going in the other direction. Use all the sharp lying Lydian scales going back to F Lydian after each new chord. I'll share that once it's done, and if it gets played in class next week, I'll be sure to record it. Teacher Spotlight Ben Schwen Denner. The faculty at Longy are incredible and a huge part of why I enrolled. This is a dedicated space to shine a light on these wonderful musicians and educators. Keeping with the Lydian chromatic concept theme, please allow me to introduce you to Ben Schwen Denner. From Ben's website, Composer slash pianist Ben Schwen Denner sustains a unique voice in contemporary creative music and is a leading authority on George Russell's Lydian chromatic concept of tonal organization, which, we assist, which he assisted Russell in teaching at the New England Conservatory from 1986 to 2004. Schwen Denner's latest book, Organic Music Theory, Pumping Station, 2017, Heights Music International, 2020, presents a new direction in natural pedagogy and dialogue-based arts education, establishing organic music theory and universal music elements as primary creative sources. He has given lectures, workshops, and seminars at universities and institutions around the world. Schwen Denner has been on the faculty at the New England Conservatory and Longy School of Music of Bard College for over 30 years. He has also designed classes for non-musicians based on the interdiscipline correspondences of organic music theory for the creative and critical thinking department in the Graduate College of Education at UMass Boston. In short, Ben is a deep thinker and an inquisitive guy. He's driven by the question, if this is possible, what else is possible? And practices what he preaches. In regards to his students, he tells us each class, we don't listen to grades. We listen to music. LCC is a performance and projects-based class where Ben wants us to take risks in our work and our playing. He's energetic and encouraging. I wasn't sure if I was on the right track with my first composition, so I checked in with him before I got too far down the wrong path. He assured me I was approaching the assignment correctly, and his kind response made me want to push the piece further. A quick side trip down memory lane. When I was at Berkeley, I did something foolish. Well, I'm sure I did many foolish things while I was there, but this one in particular now haunts me. We had composition assignments in a bunch of classes, and instead of using the assignments as a starting point for my original songs, I just viewed them as assignments. Gah! Realizing that makes me feel like Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory when he's going, I have failed you, to the picture of Einstein in his locker. I will not fail myself anymore, not when it comes to writing and composing. All the stuff I'm working on for class will become part of my catalog one way or another, be them instrumental pieces or original songs. No more purely academic musical creation for me. I owe this change of perspective to Ben, that I don't need to, and shouldn't, separate my work in such a binary fashion. If this is possible, what else is possible? Closing thoughts. I'm still playing with the format, but if there's anything you specifically would like to see here, please reply or post a comment. Similar to Longy, this is a, it, this is a dynamic endeavor. Next week, I'll ask some of my classmates if they'd like to do a quick interview for the Longy Ledger. I'm only one of 300 plus students, so I think it'd be cool to include some additional perspectives for you. 
I've been working on a solo guitar version of the jazz standard Body and Soul. Maybe I'll share that as I should have my fingers wrapped around it by then. And here's the link to download a PDF of my piece should you like to give it a go. And feel free to mess around with it. And send back a recording if you'd like. I'll share that in next week's Laundry Ledger. Until next time, thank you for reading. Yours in music, Amy.